Okay, don't tell any of my former high school faculty this, but I have been wearing spaghetti straps. Yeah, and they can't do anything about it. They couldn't cope, could they, those high school teachers with the spaghetti straps? They couldn't handle it. What's wrong with them? Especially my high school. The teachers at my high school, well, actually, no, not all the teachers, I'll clarify, mainly the male faculty at my high school could not cope with the spaghetti straps. They're like, girls mustn't wear spaghetti straps. It's too distracting. It's too distracting. It's too distracting uh, for the, uh, uh, the boys. What boy? Which boys? I want to know which boys, what boys are we talking about? Because all the student boys, from what I can tell, are getting along with it very fine and maturely. And all the boys that seem very distracted are uh, a little long in the tooth. A little long in the tooth for boys. Especially my principal, my high school principal, was obsessed with spaghetti straps. It was his white whale. He couldn't let it go. And he, to the point where he sent out a new, like sent home a newsletter, typed it out, imagine this, typed it out, folded it in thirds, and sent it home with every kid, <laughs> saying, we must remember now that the warm weather is here that girls mustn't wear spaghetti straps. They mustn't, oh, they mustn't. It's, it's not conducive, it's too distracting from an academic environment. It's too distracting, it's just, like, okay, Gary Glitter, you're telling on yourself. <laughs> Like, you didn't need to do this. This man could have gone his whole life happily as a secret deviant in private. Instead, he typed it out and basically sent out an APB to every household that he's a pedophile. And my dad, okay, when my dad read that newsletter, he's like, Jackie? I was like, ugh. <laughs> and, and he laid down the law with me. My daddy laid down the law. He was like, I don't give a shit what you wear. Just please stay far away from this pervert. <laughs> yes.